Okay guys, we're gonna sit down, come with me, gonna sit down, have a seat, let's talk, let's get a little bit intimate, I'm gonna get a little bit in your business, I'm gonna get a little bit in your face, because if another person asks me for this video, how I became that free. And I'm gonna show you, we're gonna sit down and we're gonna do a little chit chat. So I got some goodies for us, I have um, some champagne. For us both and I have two glasses I have two glasses one for you and one for me let's sit down and chit chat and I'm gonna tell you how I became debt free at 30 first of all let's just pop the champagne because it is a celebration <laughs> this is your glass Okay guys, so here's to me becoming debt free and cheers to you on starting your debt free journey. Because if I can do it, you can do it as well. So cheers. Ting, 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 ting. Shout out to my honey for making me this debt free money. And she got me a money gun just so I can put it in this video. Um, and it says my actual debt free day on here which was 220 2020 a lot of people want to know how do you become debt free <laughs> okay this might sound like the hardest thing in the world to do so i wrote down the little tips wrote down a little bit of tips for you guys number one <laughs> pay your bills are you paying your bills? I'm gonna be a little blunt and honest. Like, I can't. I see so many people going out to eat more than once a week, going out drinking, getting hookah, all this other extraness, right? Y'all got fly clothes on, y'all wanna wear bape, y'all wanna wear Louis, y'all wanna wear, I don't even know. I, like, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. You guys go shopping every single time you have to go to a party. Every single time. Like you don't have clothes in your drawer. You're going out to parties. You're popping bottles. Um, A bottle in the club would cost like $250 when it's really $35 in the freaking store. Little things like this are ridiculous habits to have. I was, I'm just going to say, close to like ten thousand dollars in debt and that is all cleared off no credit cards no student loans no um, no credit cards no student loans no uh what do you call it no collections um i have nothing i'm officially there is zero balances on my credit cards and on everything that i owed it is the most greatest feeling in the world to feel like you are free, to feel like your money is yours. Because when you think about it, your money is not yours. If you have debt, your check is not yours, but you spend it as if it's yours. You spend it as if it's okay to like splurge on this and that on shit you do not need. Most of the stuff that you're buying is stuff you don't need. I am guilty of these things. Going into Sephora and blowing like $300. Do you think I need to do that? No, I do not. You have to switch up your habits. Ladies, you're on Fashion Nova every other day buying something new. Why do you need it? You have clothes in your drawer. Get it together. Granted, I have a Fashion Nova dress on. This dress has been sitting in that closet since October. It was for my best friend's birthday and I didn't wear it for that, but I figure why not wear this fabulous dress for this fabulous occasion, okay? So <laughs> the first thing I did to start by my debt free journey was I downloaded Credit Karma, right? 
So I've been on this like seriously for a year. So it took me like a year. It could have took me less than a year, but because of the fact that I was doing a little traveling, um, my, my 30th birthday came up and I wanted to, you know, splurge and whatever. So I did. Did I need to really? No, but you only turned 30 once in your lifetime and it was a big deal for me. So, all right, so now what you need to do is download Credit Karma, that's number one. See how much debt you actually have because I see that a lot of people do not even know how much debt that they actually have because they're actually scared to look at the amount of debt that they have, okay? Go download Credit Karma, go figure that out, see how much debt you have, see how much student loans you owe, see how much, um money is going into collections if you even are in collection all these things are going to kill your freaking credit score od i'm not an expert but this is how i did it i'm just showing you guys telling you guys how i did it so you want to go download credit karma figure out how much you are in debt okay once you figure that out don't have a heart attack one step at a time you're gonna get it cleared off if i did it you can do it as well you're just gonna really have to be frugal with your spending like so these were some of the things that i spent a lot of my money on i like to go out to the bar and i like to have a drink after work and i like to go like three times a week two times a week in new york city a drink is like $15 and that's not including the tip. So it's like really like 15 and then I'm a good tipper. So I'll tip like an extra $5 per drink. So, and I like to have two or three drinks. Like imagine going out. Let me get my goddamn calculator. According to my calculations, over here trying to keep up with her. Mm -hmm. According to my calculations, you're spending too much money. To go and add up where are you spending most of your money like where's most of your money going like your spare money like after you done paid your bills because most people will pay their bills and still leave the damn debt sitting there like i don't know about you guys but when i sit there and i have credit card ooh, excuse my language i'm like i can't sleep at night ten thousand dollars worth of debt like are you serious like why why do I have this and why am I acting like it doesn't exist like a lot of us go through life <laughs> racking up credit cards doing this doing that buying this buying that buying stuff you don't need and this is what happens if you are over the age of like 21 or like I'll give you to 25 because a lot of people also get scared that if they get a credit card they're going to spend on it you have to have self-control self-control is like the first thing you need to have self-control realize that you have an issue and then control it i need you to bring it on in control that issue you have a spending habit mine was makeup mine is alcohol because i'd like to go out and have a drink i like that setting of just chilling i'll even go and do my youtube videos in a bar and just chill and have a drink because i just like that vibe and just edit and then but it's bad because you're sitting up there you're spending money that you do not need to spend now you're gonna go to credit karma you're gonna figure out your situation and see how much you owe in debt now take your check and see how much you make in your check how much money are all your bills and then how much money do you have left over what are you doing with that money i'll wait oh you're going to the club right oh you're gonna go get those new jordans right oh you're gonna go get those new tims them red bottoms them this them that who are you fronting for who are you fronting for you don't need like you like why 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 do you need it what are we like what are you doing what are we doing especially my people we were not taught about debt we were not taught about um financial freedom we weren't taught we weren't taught about residual income all those different things so now when we're in our adult ages we are like in panic mode because we don't know what the hell we are doing now you're gonna realize it you're gonna get it together and you're gonna fix your situation what you can do is take that money put a percentage towards savings and then take the other percent and start paying off your debt what i did was i sold products i worked extra hours at work i would do work after work 
so that I can have extra money and I wouldn't use that on myself and I would go and put it towards that. That is discipline. It's very hard to do these things. It's very hard. It is. I'm not sitting here saying it like it's not hard because I know it is because you want to go spend it on the things you want to spend it on. But honestly, as soon as you get your check, you're broke. $40,000 worth of debt. You are broke. You have what? A $2,000 check. You're broke. You're broke. You're broke. You have bills and then the rest of it should be going towards, towards that. And stay your ass in the house. Eat sandwiches. Eat peanut butter and jelly. Like main things that we're spending our money on especially in new york is food 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 is like number one going out drinking going out drinking and having hookah and partying and clothes that we really don't need so those things you need to really just cut it out like cut it out like you guys are out here trying to look fly for who though for who to, to impress the next person just so they can talk about you anyway it doesn't matter did they even bathe before they went to the club no but they want to have the flyest outfit on right did you put on deodorant oh okay that was the first thing i did i downloaded credit karma i realized how much debt i had i really made a, a goal and i'm like i can't be spending how i used to spend if i want to get this goal done with because once you don't have debt your money is your money and then you have that money to save towards something that you want or to just save you want to get a credit card and like if you're over the age of 25 and you don't have a credit card that's not good that's that's you trying to be like oh i can't get a credit card because of the fact that i'm gonna spend that's where your self-control comes in because we're adults right Most of the time if you have bad credit what is gonna happen is credit card will offer you a credit card that is good for you most of the time it's going to be capital one because they will give you a a little starter credit card that is like 200 dollars, and you can't mess that up 200 dollars is not a lot okay it's not a lot of money but you can blow that easy you can blow that easy living in new york you can blow that easy living anywhere 200 dollars is not a lot of money what you want to do is you want to put a small bill on there, like a Metro card bill, like a weekly Metro card. Maybe you want to put your groceries on there. You Maybe you want to put your phone bill on there. If it's a small amount, you want to spend 30% or less, less is better, 30% or less of your total credit, okay? 30% or less of your total credit of your total credit okay so let's say you have ten thousand dollars worth of credit right you want to do 0.30 times ten thousand and then see that number that's the number you could spend and still kind of be in a safe zone but you want to kind of spend under under that under that okay other thing that i did was i downloaded all these apps I downloaded the Albert app, I downloaded the Digit app, I downloaded the Tally app because all these apps, they have these apps now where you can sit there and you can, the app will go in and take out money as soon as you deposit your check or as soon as some money comes in or as soon as whatever you set it to be every uh, every other day, every other week, whatever. Whatever you set it to be, it takes that money and puts it in the savings, right? Now, when you say I picked a credit card debt um, savings. Now, once you once that money goes into that credit card debt, it does not come out. You can't touch it. So now what it does, once it you set it to whatever date you need to set it to, and then that, that, that savings account just pays your bill. So now you're not really worried about paying it because the the app is going to pay it for you. So it's already taking the money out. So it's putting an extra payment towards it. Now, what I was doing, I was making two to three payments per month, like in one, in one bill, like one billing cycle. I was making two to three payments on one card because I was trying to really, really get the debt down as fast as I possibly could. Now the app that is, um, it's an Albert app, that app, tells you every single bill that you have how much you're paying for that it it tallies everything up it says this is how much you pay for your electric bill this is how much you pay for rent this is how much you pay for your phone bill this is how much you pay on credit cards at. Da, 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 da. it goes down the list of everything it puts a whole it puts it in like a little circle and it says this is how much you spent that you spent 
the average person spends this much you spend this much so it puts it puts it right in front of your face so the average person spends 10 percent of their earnings on groceries you spend 30 so then you get a realization of what's going on here like why are you spending this much money on groceries why are you spending this much money it, when i downloaded this app it said you have spent in the last couple months it was like six hundred dollars on uber it was like last like two or three months or something like that it said that when i first downloaded it and i was like what the hell six hundred dollars on uber uber now that's uber eats uber in in general that's ridiculous it's gonna put even your transportation everything in there <laughs> so once you get that in your face you're starting to realize like oh this is where my money is going because half the time people don't even pay attention to where their money is going i used to be one of these people now i'm i'm like I, I get a little stingy now not to say i can't treat myself every now and then not to say i don't spend money but i'm better i'm much better at saving so i would definitely say download the digit app i'm gonna give you my link down below the digit app the albert app the tally app um and the acorn app now see whichever one works for you now i my favorite is is albert digit and acorn acorn just takes a percentage of your money like if you spend like ten dollars and fifty cents like it'll take fifty cents and put it 50 cents out of whatever you spend on your debit card or your credit card or whatever and it will put it in like a savings account and then it keeps on it keeps on adding up adding up adding up on all the change that is left over from whatever you're spending now digit i put a rainy days um a rainy day savings i have a just because savings and then i had a credit card savings with which i just deleted because i finished my goal like it gives you can set your own goals and then it'll help pay it down for you on top of you paying it as well so if you want to do it fast you'll pay it as well or you will just you or you can let it just pay you the money that is it's taking out of your account it'll pay it for you or you can go and let that money be taken out and also pay do a payment on top of it i think you should do a payment on top of it because that's only going to add doing double payments doing two payments per month on a credit card bill that makes that puts you in good in good credit like that gives you that ups that boosts up your credit doing double payments per month and albert so that digit for me that works that way which it has three savings in there and then albert that has two savings it has a savings for something that i want and then it has a rainy day savings like um that's just about it but albert's going to tell me exactly how much i spent for the month this how much your check is going to be this how much money you're going to have left over and that makes me realize okay this is what i'm going to have left over this is how much i can save and da 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 like if it's right in front of your face it makes it so much easier to to deal with now yeah so those are those are like the apps that i use that is how i've been doing things honestly if i didn't go on my trip for my birthday i would have been set free probably before if i didn't go on my trip and if i didn't have my birthday party i would have been set free probably be before my 30th birthday which was my goal but i didn't reach it but i reached it now and that's all that matters you will feel so much better if you just clear off your debt and you have you don't have that heavy load on your shoulders you know how many people kill themselves because of all these bills like, you know how many people are still in debt that went to freaking school 20 years ago? It really sucks. I wasn't one of those people that went to school. Like, I, I followed my passion and I went to hair school. And luckily, when I was in high school, they had hair school. So I would go half day hair school, half day high school. And by the time I graduated, I graduated with both. So that was me. Also, like, I have a job where I get tips. If you have a job where you get tips, do yourself a favor and do not spend your tips. Put them aside in a little savings box. Put them in the bank where you can't touch it. Or take it and go pay off the debt. Like put it towards whatever debt you have. Put it towards your credit card debt. Like as soon as you get, like as soon as you, especially if you have a tipping job where you have that money in your hands after you do take care of your business, go take it and put it into put it into going towards your debt that's gonna help that's what i did like i i would get tips i put it aside i put it aside till it gets like a certain amount and then i would go and pay it 
pay off some of my debt, which I'm already paying the debt with my regular check anyway. And then I have this extra money lying around. What am I going to do with this? Spend it? No, 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 no. You're not going to go spend it. You're going to go put it towards your debt. It's so freaking simple. And somebody was probably sitting here waiting for me to give them like this, this answer that is just so like, oh my God, I didn't think of that. But no, if you pay your goddamn bills, pay your bills on time. Stop having late fees. Late fees add up. Oh, that's another thing that Digit and Albert do. They will tell you if you're going to have a late fee. They will say, you had this many late fees in the past three months. Like, it does things like that. Late fees add up. Um, All of that, all of that stuff. All of those little things, it, it adds up to something. Like there are ways also like on the Albert app where you can put your phone bill in there and they'll try to negotiate so that it's lower. It's lower in price. That your phone bill's lower. These little simple, simple things. It's, it's simple, but it's also hard. And I get it because for a long time, I... I wanted this. I wanted that. I'm swiping my credit card. I'm swiping this credit card. Like, swipe, 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 swipe. And you're like $10,000 worth of debt. Like, where did this come from? The stuff you really do not need. Like, now I've become a person where I'm like, I don't, like, I like a lot of nice things. Like, my, my, like, mm -hmm. like, the things that are for, like, for me, like, it's like the makeup, the hair, the nails, like the beauty stuff. But that also goes within my job. So it's like, I need to look a certain type of way because of the job that I have. And it's not me making an excuse for myself. So what I did was I changed some of my habits. Instead of buying Fenty all the time, I'll go buy Maybelline from the drugstore. Like instead of doing that, instead of getting my nails done all the time, I don't have my nails done right now. The last time I had my nails done was on my birthday. Instead of getting my nails done, I'll use press on nails. You know what I mean? Like, instead of getting that that freaking MAC lip gloss that I like, I'll use the lip gloss from the freaking hair, hair store, which is $2. Like, I'll make, no, like, I'll negotiate, I'll negotiate certain things so that it's like those little cut, like, just cut corners in certain areas. And it's like, you can still get what you want, but you're cutting corners. But if you're a person that likes to go out to eat, if you're a person that likes to go out to drink and get hookah, if you're a person that likes to go out and party, like, if you're a person that likes to flaunt and pop bottles, like, first of all, like, it, it, like, Bottles in the club are ridiculous anyway. Like $250 for like two bottles or something like that. I don't know. It could be even more. I think I've done that one time and that was for my 25th birthday. And yeah, no, it's a no for me. It's a no. Like stop trying to impress somebody else with what you have and be happy. You could be happy. You could be happy with what you have now but you're always trying to like look at the next person see what they have trying to compare yourself and you don't really need to do that like it's so unnecessary and that's not the way you should be living your life and that's why you're gonna end up with bad credit that's why you're gonna end up broke it's just not logical like people love to keep up with the joneses as they would say also another thing that i did was i read books i read fi financial free books like people make books about being financially free about deducting credit card debt i read the book secrets to a millionaire mind i read the book 12 pillars to success those are just the two books that i can really think of right now but those books really helped me too because it put me Oh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad was another one. It put me in a different mindset when you read books about different situations and then you kind of put yourself in a situation. That will help you as well. So definitely try to pick up one of those books. You can go on Amazon. If you have Apple, if you have an iPhone, you could go on um Go on iTunes and, you know, you could download an audio book or you can you can go and buy the book from Barnes and Nobles or something. So you, you can download it on your phone if you go and read those books. And a lot of times, like, I'll just go and skim through it, like, over again, even though I read them. And that'll help me because at different times in your life, something, something sounded good back then. Now it's going to sound a little bit different to me now. So it's good to read those books and read them a year later because you're a whole different person. You probably have a new perspective on, on life and on things and you're probably at a new level in your life. So reading books, 
reading books definitely helps. Um, I also go on YouTube and I listen to a lot of motivational stuff that helps me. I want to be like someone who's financially free, who has income coming in while they sleep. That's the type of person that I want to be. That's the type of person I strive to be. And it's like, you're not listening to positive things and, and, and thinking of different ways to make money. Like, you're going to be stuck in the same situation. You can also pick up a, like a little side hustle. Like stop being so daggone lazy. You can go and do extra work outside of your job. You can work 40 hours a week and then you can do a little side job. You know what I mean? Just to make some quick money. If you know how to fix computers, if you do hair, if you do nails, if you know how to do makeup you can do these little simple things like sometimes i'll go to my client's house and i'll cut their hair i work at a blow dry bar but i'll go to my client's house because i'll be like they'll be like do you know how to cut hair i'm like yeah that's extra that's extra money doing stuff like that um sometimes people want me to edit pictures for them okay you want me to edit picture i'm gonna charge you five dollars little things like that just to pay down your stuff or just to add a little extra income to what you're already making like, you have to be a little bit creative. You have to be open to doing different things as well. What did you learn from me today? Because we didn't just sit here and, you know, have champagne for no reason. We <laughs> are on the road to being debt free and I'm with you. I challenge you to stop going out. <laughs> stop going out. Put some money in your savings account. Like, stop buying all those shoes stop buying all those clothes i challenge you to do that stuff and then see where you are if you don't do that stuff for six months see how see where you are on yourself not to do those things and see where you are six months from now like one of my friends called me today and was like i just paid off my student loans and i was so happy for her like i'm like yo that's what's up like she's like so how do i fix my credit i'm like girl you gotta wait you gotta wait wait until the score goes up then go get you a credit card she doesn't she didn't have a credit card it's like when you don't have a credit card like you need credit you need credit for a house you need credit for a car you need credit for a loan like you just need credit so if you're sitting up there scared to get a credit card get your life because you just need to have self-control that's all you need to have so you want to go download credit karma see credit karma and Experian, because there's your credit score and then there's your fico score um your fico score is more accurate and and then your credit score you can see everything that you owe and you can see where you are also they will recommend you um a specific credit card for you to use okay they'll recommend a specific credit card for you to use for you to use make sure it has high approval odds we go for something that has high approval odds something that they're suggesting don't just go and and get a freaking card and you know what else is bad store cards store cards are bad it's better to have like a, a all-around credit card and have a few. Right now I have five different credit cards. I put small bills on them now. The only thing that I would, well, right now all of them are clear except for one because I have, I just put like my phone bill on, which I'm about to pay off. Like put all of your residual bills on your credit cards and then pay them off because you know you're going to pay that off every month you know you're going to pay your phone bill you know you're going to pay your light bill you know you're going to pay your rent you know you know you know you're going to pay these things so put i know i'm going to pay my metro card so you put those small bills on there and then you play it off put it on pay it off put it on pay it off once they see a consistent rotation for you that's when your credit that's when your credit line will open up a little bit more and then they'll see that you're responsible at paying your bills and they'll offer you different cards. Like you don't want to not have a card because you, you're going to need that. If you have student loans and Sally Mae and all these other people are calling your phone down, stop putting them on hold. And first of all, student loans, I feel like they should not be putting interest on student loans. Like I feel like they shouldn't do that, but they do. But whatever, That's that ain't my business. But go and figure your stuff out figure out how much you have to owe figure out figure out what you owe figure out what you have in collections S start with paying that off first because that's what happened to me 
I had a cell phone that I got for someone else like years ago and I couldn't get a credit card. I didn't know why. Then I finally figured it out because that went into collection. It was like $250. And I'm like, okay, it went into collections and now my credit is bad because of this. So now I have to work on it. That was that was the first thing. See what you have in collections. You shouldn't have anything in collections. Get that stuff out of collections. Pay that off. So then now you you you're just you're not you're starting off fresh with the, the the actual debt, not the collections debt. Like start off fresh. See where you go from there. It's it's very sad because like in my like in the black community, like parents will mess you up. Parents will sit there and use up. Your credit when you're young because they don't mess up theirs. And then you get older and now you don't know what to do. And now you have this outstanding debt that you didn't even you didn't even use. Like it's it's really ridiculous. And I'm sorry if that ever happened to you, but so many people have told me that oh my parent messed it up because they went and got a car, or my parent messed it up and they went. It's it's really crazy. It's really crazy. But anyway, now you have some of the tips and tricks from me so i need you to go download credit karma download albert app download digit and download acorn and i'm gonna put all my links down below so that you can just click on them download them and you can you can start your process all those things will help you pay down your credit your credit cards and your debts faster um Pay your bills, pay your bills and pay them on time. You got to pay them on time. Like stop waiting. What are you waiting for? Okay. And go get you a book, a good book to read. There's so many different books to read. A book that really changed the way I think of money and changed the way I spend money is The Secret to a Millionaire Mind. That book and rich dad poor dad those are really good books go pick those up or go get a, go download it on your phone get the audiobook and start from there like it'll change your mind on how you look at things on how much you spend and notice that like flaunting and buying a bunch of extra nonsense that you do not need is so unnecessary you, you're better than that. You deserve more than that. You want to get that house. You want to get that car. You want to, you know what I mean? Like, get it together. It's 2020. We're going to get this together. And I believe in you. If I can do it, you can do it too. So I hope that this was somewhat helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, you could comment them down below. A lot of you guys like see me um on here and then you'll message me on instagram which is cool you can message me on instagram if you have any type of um questions or whatever like some of my friends even sent me screenshots of like their 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 credit scores and stuff like that which is cool i think you guys are super dope for that for being that transparent but look yourself in the face and see where your problems are and figure it out and get it together and then go from there you will be debt free. I believe in you. You should believe in you. And let's start this journey together. Even though I'm finished, I'm still here with you. Okay? I'm still here. It's, it's much easier than you think. Just pay your bills. Pay your bills. Pay your bills. Stop buying Louis Vuitton. Stop buying it. Yeah, stop buying those Jordans. He's good. He has his money. He he's debt free. I'm sure of it. He he's just making money. Stop buying that stuff. Stop buying it. You have like 20 pairs already. You don't need it. As for me, I need to stop going out and drinking. I slowed down a lot though. I slowed down a lot. Stop going out drinking and eating and getting hookah. You know what babe did? She went and she bought a hookah <laughs> she bought a hookah now we don't have to go out for hookah she got me a shaker so now i don't have to go out for drinks one drink is 15 dollars plus tip if i make my own drink i have like three drinks three four drinks in one bottle as a bottle of freaking tito's is like 13 dollars what like what are we doing it's <laughs> just it's so it's so silly I hope this helped you just a little bit. 
I hope I didn't bore you to death. I hope you didn't think like, oh, that's it. That's all you gotta do. Like, yeah, it is all you gotta do because it's really that simple. But you guys are making it harder and you think there's some type of secret. There's, I, I did not use any type of debt reduction, anything. I legit paid my bills. My credit score right now is, I have excellent credit. I have excellent credit. I forgot my ex, my, my specific score. I posted it, but I forgot it now. It's like seven. 750 something it needs to update because everything's cleared off so it hasn't updated yet but you can do it i believe in you you believe in you and you can do it go start paying down those credit cards or go get you a credit card or go start paying off those student loans stop buying jordan stop buying christian louis vuitton stop buying this that girls get off of fashion nova get off of fashion nova get out of sephora yeah, you. I'm talking to you. You and you. Go. Get, just stop. 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 Stop the ridiculous amount of spending. Okay? Now, what are you guys sitting here still looking at me for? Go start paying off your debt. Go download Credit Karma and go download Experian and figure it out figure out what are your spending habits and then wrap it up if you guys haven't already like comment share and subscribe and turn on your bell notifications and be ready for my next video i will see you guys soon mm -hmm.